thank you for traveling with TransPennine Express. This service will shortly attach to another train. Customers may experience a flight bump during this operation. Good morning, back in Manchester, but this time things are different because I have a new camera. So I'm going to give this a go today, it's quite noisy, the GR3 is with me. Now I'm going to approach today three different types of approach. First I'm going to shoot around using the uh, quick fire black and white images, metering high contrast. That's my user two. User one I've set for my street stuff, which is fast. People F8, 250 of the second, and also snap forks in, currently in a two meter distance. And then third, I'm gonna continue with my Dreamwalkers project, black and white project, where I slow the shutter speed down, getting that movement in the images. And I'm not on my own. So first up is black and white images, square crop, metering for the highlights, and just check what my eyes are seeing, basically. Do have a bit of news. So me, me being a GI user, it's obviously uh, caused great influence um, oh, there's Mally. But Mally, have you, um, have you recently yes. got a new camera? I might have, just what, been talking what? about it. Oh, yeah, yeah. Uh, I think I was talking about this at least six months before James was. <laughs> so we are now officially GNI users. Part of the community. And we got and, and a, and a, a Nike. A, a, I nearly and said he and got he's a got a Leica. Leica. <laughs> he wishes. So the light is slowly coming out. It's just... The tops of the buildings. This is what I've seen. It's little patches of light. So I've just been hanging around here, the corner. We've got shadows here. Just hanging around, waiting for the right moment. I mean, look at that night shot. You've got your leading lines. Um, just focusing on using the black and white eye contrast. JPEGs because I don't want to confuse myself flitting around between the three different modes I've got. I'm just warming up, but the light is good. Top of the buildings here. And of course the camera's metering for the highlights. So yeah, it's just warming up mode. Get to the flow of things, looking at architectural, you know, architectural urban we can use the urban environment fairly quiet slowly building up here in the center of manchester a lot of runners about look at this light here you've got your contrast in your lights your light patches are light i know i'm looking at now it's some architectural stuff i mean even these beacons here just to space them out with your shadows as well. Oh, so watch my shutter speed. Look at the trees as well. So I've convinced them to hang around one certain area. It's about, a, I don't know, 100, 100 square metre spot where the the light's just lovely. And the problem is with these city excursions is dashing around, never stop, always on the move. But sometimes you just gotta hang around. I mean, look, it's lovely dappled light. Things like this I like as well. Look at your signs. Play around with them. It really is quiet. But I don't mind that because that's just allowing me allowing myself to get my, my, my eye in and focus on the first part of my photographer, which is more your, your architectural stuff. 
black and white square crop free floor but yeah it's become slowly warming up it's stuff stuff like this which I like shadows casting walls aluminium railings which of course the light bounces off but stuff like that About. Mm. Yeah, good stuff. Now, the other two, I've noticed uh, taking images of people walking past, and, which is all good stuff, but I want to try something different. Oh, I'm not try to try something different, look out for not just yeah, people walking past and all that, it's just what I want to look out is for candid moments. And I'll come find a few between, I might be lucky. Um, but my approach today is going to be shooting from the hip, try to be inconspicuous, um, try to be as inconspicuous as possible. Might work, might not. But I'm still in architectural black and white mode, contrast shadows. Again, just lifting the camera up, taking a look back at the screen, might work, might not, but I'm not hesitating, I'm still taking a shot. And what I'll do at the end is just uh, filter, filter the images through, show you my favourites. Go looking at shadows, lights intermittent coming and going. Um, I've spent a bit of time down inside the canal, but there's no light, and now I'm here again. I just keep in to one mindset as it were, i.e. black and white, focusing on the shapes, the architectural, the light, etc. Keep it to square. It really is helping because I've got three modes set up here and I just don't want to be bouncing around. So as I say I'm focused on photographing specific things, angles, shapes, geometry, things like that. I also know that at some point I'm going to have to, I'm going to, not going to have to, but I want to break away as the place gets a bit busier and uh, start shooting the people scene. So I'm going to slowly or eventually shift to my fast street mode. But the light, as I say, is dipping in and out. So when the light isn't hitting the scene I'm looking at lighter uh, objects different textures I'm now going to change my set change what I'm going to photograph and just focus more on the people scene interactions candid moments I may and may not get them but I'm gonna just in case there's none I'm gonna switch to a colour approach and shooting raw. The images I've shot, I've shot so far all in large JPEGs. So I'll share the favourites now.
managed to colour mode now. Hopefully, I'll be able to take advantage of these autumnal colours. That's one there, actually. But yeah, I uh, usually find one. It's basically my street fast mode. So it's 250th of a second F8 auto ISO shooting in RAW plus. Now, you see, it's a nice light. Again, no people. So I may or may not get cabin moments. That's just a bonus, remember. In the day, I should be coming. Certainly picking up now. Crowds are coming, more people getting into the mode. And remember, it's colour. Sun's out as well. So this is completely different mindset altogether. What I'm doing, I'm swapping between AF, AF pinpoint um, focus and snap focus as well. So snap is for close up in terms of distance stuff. Currently set at two meters, it might flip between two meters and three and a half meters. So anything from those distance to thin is sharp. F8, those moments. But if I want to compose a shot, I'm moving to AF pinpoint. Anyway, it's a bit of fun. Just born in a dress and I know 